Hello and welcome back everybody. This is Miss Glink and for this video we're going to, going to be talking about how to find multiples or skip counting by twelves. This is actually a video made by student request because he wanted to know if I could show him, make a video showing a strategy that will help him skip count by twelves a lot easier. So I said of course. So we're only going to be focusing, for the purposes of this video, on the first 10 multiples of 12. Of course, we can't really start diving in to finding multiples of 12 until we really have a good understanding of what is a multiple. Well, I like to think of a root word. So I know that multiple sounds a lot like multiply. And check this out. In the definition it says the product of a number multiplied by any other whole number. So check this out. When you multiply you find the product. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So if we hear the word multiple we're just thinking well what's the answer to a multiplication equation? So as you see at the bottom the first four multiples of 8 in this example, we have 8, 16, 24, and 32. And how do we know it's the first four? Well, I'll show you. If we look at the, the 8 right here, I have to think, 8 times what gives me 8? Well, I know any number times 1 gives me, itself, gives me that number. So this would be the product of 8 times 1. 16, well, 8 times what gives me 16? Well, that would be 8 times 2. 24, on the other hand, well, 8 times what gives me 24? Well, I know if I add another 8 onto 16, other word, in other words, 8 times 3, I get 24. And for 32, well, if I add another 8, another group of 8 to 24, I get 32. So it's 8 times 4. So I know that these are the first 4 multiples of 8 because, as you can see, I have 8 times 1, 2, 3, and 4. The 8 right here in these equations is just saying I'm taking that number and multiplying it by that many times. Hey, and check it out. Times. Times is also a great multiplication key word. So, hey, it works out. So as you can see here on the left hand side, we have this lovely multiples of 12 chart. So we're not always going to have this in front of us. So what I've decided to do was as you see on the right hand side I have an observations. Uh, this is where I'm going to write down what do I notice? What can help me out writing my multiples of 12? So I'm going to take a look at all these numbers, these multiples of 12. Alright, so first I think I'm going to look at the ones place because I think that's a good place to start. So, if I look, hmm, well, I know we have a 2, then there's a 4, 6, 8, ooh, you know what, if I stop right there, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, and so I'm counting by 2's. So, if the pattern continues, the next, well, apparently the dog is, if you heard that, going crazy. But if I look at my 1's, and if the pattern continues, 2, 4, 6, 8, the next number should be a 10. Well, we have a 0. And that, that works. Because, as you know, when you add 2 to 8, you get 10. Well, you have to carry a 1 to the 10's place. Alright, so 2, 4, 6, 8... We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it should be 12. Oh, and that makes sense because there's a 2 in the 1's place. 4, 
six, eight, and check it out. We have another zero. So that, how could I write that down as an observation? Hmm. So I noticed that every time the ones place goes up by two. And you could say that in a different way if you want. You can say it adds to or is increased by two. But for my observations, I really want to make sure I understand it, so I'm going to put it in terms that I understand. Okay, so I've noticed an observation about my ones place. Now I'm going to look at my tens place, and I'm going to use a different color. Well, let's see here. Maybe we could try the strategy we used last time. So... I'm going to erase my red red marks and my one so I don't get, don't get confused. Okay, there we go. So again, we're looking at the tens place. So I have a one. I have a one, two, three, four. Ooh, okay, so so far it looks like the tens place is increasing by one each time, but let's see here. One two, three, four, six. Well, that's odd. I wonder why it goes up by two. Hmm. Well, we have seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Well, that's odd. Hmm. So, all of the ones that I'm putting dots by seem to increase by one. But why would it increase by two from the 48 to the 60 and from the 108 to the 120? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let me do a little bit of math to see if I can figure this out. So 48, and if I know that, oh, okay, so the the ones place, I know, goes up by 2. So I'm going to add 2 and just see what happens. 8 plus 2 is 10. Oh, so you carry. Oh, that's right. So if you're adding, if you're deciding that the tens place is going up by 1, we forgot about the 1 we had to carry. Okay, so that 4, 5, and 6. And that matches up right here. So yeah, let's use a different color and see if the same thing happens between the 108 and the 120. So I'm going to get a nice pretty blue color. Alright, so 108 plus, and I'm going to do the same thing, plus 2, and just to see what happens. So 8 plus 2 is 10, I carry my 1, we have a 1 and a 1. Well that still doesn't get me 120. Oh, but wait, remember the rule that we haven't written it down yet, but remember what happens? The tens place increases by one, so in each time. So if I add that one into the tens place, I can erase that one, and then this becomes a two. So this matches right here. Before I write my rule down for the tens place, I wanted to show you something. So we know that, I'm, I'm, just, I'm going to write down the numbers of multiples for each one. So I'm going to write them on the right side because I'm running out of room. So now the 12 is my first multiple, 24 is the second, 36 is the third, 48 is number 4, 60 is number 5, 72 is 6, 84 is 7, 96 is 8, 108 is 9, and 120 is 10. So let's just see how often we need to remember to carry when we're adding, when we're looking, thinking about a rule. So it looks like um, the first time happens in between rules 4 and 5. So it's number it's the fifth multiple that where the rule kind of breaks just a little bit, but not really. And then in between 108 and 120. So 120 or the tenth multiple 
is where it breaks again. So if we think of it this way, look at that. What's the relationship between 5 and 10? Well, if we skip count by 5s, 5, 10. We can assume that the next time we'll have to carry a number is the 15th multiple. That's just a nice to know because we're only dealing with the first 10 multiples. So I'm going to write my rule for the 10s. So I wrote down for rule number 2 is that the 10s place goes up by 1. Now we have a rule breaker, of course, we always have to have one, and this is the one we just talked about. The 5th and the 10th multiples go up by 2, and we proved that just a little bit ago. So now I'm going to write my first 10 multiples of 12 using those rules, and as you notice at the top, I've written them down. Here's my 10's rule, and here's my 1's rule. So, the first multiple is always the easiest one to write because it's always the number that you're skip counting by or finding multiples of. So we have 12. That one's easy peasy. So it says, okay, so my 1's are up by 2, so my 2 is in the 1's, so I need to put a 4. And then the 10's are up by 1, so the 10 is the 1, so I need to increase it by 1, so that's 2. So, for the third multiple, I have, in the ones, I have 2, 4, 6. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and write all those, because that's the easy one. That's the one that doesn't really break any rules. So, 2, 4, 6. The 4 would be 8. 5 would be 10. So, I'm just going to put a 0. Uh, 6, back to 2. 7, 4. 8, 6. 9, 8 and 10 again back to 0. Okay, so the ones are super easy. Now, those pesky little rule breakers as usual. So the we're looking at the tenths. And what do I remember? The fifth and the tenth, we have to go up by 2. Everything else is up by 1. Alright, so I'm going to put a little dot. These are my rule breakers. Those go up by 2. Okay, so uh, back to, we have 12, 24, um, the 3, so if we go from um, 1 to 2, then we have 3, 4, and then here's my rule breaker, up by 2, so 4 plus 2 is 6, and then we're back to normal for the 6th multiple, so 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, and then last rule breaker, we have 10, so it says up by 2, so 10 plus 2 is 12. 12. So that is the simplest way that I can think of right now. That Hopefully that helps you understand how to find the multiples of 12 a lot easier. So just basically remember, the ones place is super easy. You just go up by 2 no matter what. And with the tens place... As long as you remember that you're just going up by one each time, except for the pesky fifth and tenth multiples who go up by two, then hopefully that will be something that helps you understand how to find the multiples of 12.